Hello and welcome to my to my first of many videos that is going to be what is. And today we are going to be looking at what is literature. And literature um, doesn't have an exact concrete definition, but it does need to have certain characteristics in order to be considered literature. Um, the first off, I like to I like to think of this as like a like a pyramid, and um, so I'm going to start off by saying. Um, the first category is point of view, and, uh, characters, and self. Um, um, you need characters in, in order to, you need, a, you need a point of view in order to start any piece of literature, whether it be art, or, um, whether it be art, or even a song. Um, so, the second being, the next level up from that is setting. Setting and the effect on character and plot. Um, again, even in art, you need to have a setting so that it can affect the emotion that you're trying to evoke from that painting or from whatever you were trying to do. Um, and this is more... In the next level up, it's more for like books and like graphic novels and comic books and all of the all of the literary terms that we think of as classics. Um, so it's dialogue, external and internal. You need to have dialogue in any story, which makes for great literature. Um, Unless you're George Orwell, because, you know, he seemed to get by with no dialogue. But that's a different story. Um, mood, the next level up from that is mood and tone. Um, even in, again, even in art, you need to have, you need to have mood and tonality to what whatever it is you're trying to, again, evoke from that drawing, painting, or whatever you're trying to do. The next level up from that is foreshadowing. Foreshadowing is the uh, is like I don't know. For example, um, now now this is really creepy. In um, I forget what game it was. There was a game that that was set in New York City, like a year before the Twin Towers got bombed. So, um, and in that game. There wasn't enough space on the disc to put the whole background of New York City. So what they ended up doing was omitting the, um, the Twin Towers, which is obviously the most prominent building of the New York skyline. Um, so, and the backstory behind that was because, was because, get this, this is really creepy. Um, it was because it, it was because it was attacked by a terrorist organization. I'm forgetting the name of the terrorist or orga organization at the moment, but it's the main organization that you're fighting in the game. Um, I don't know much about the game because I've never played it, but that's really creepy. Um, so, anyway, on to the next point, which is following that exact same pyramid would be flashback. Now, flashbacks, you, I don't think you really need flashbacks in, um, in, in stories, I think it helps if you use them, but, but I don't think that they're absolutely needed for, for, um, a literature, um, like a pyramid, if you will, so, um, the next one up from that is irony. Irony is important to literature because it helps develop mood, which brings me back to the mood thing that I mentioned earlier. 
but it, it, it helps to bring out like funniness in a character it helps to bring out um, your seri your I don't want to say seriness as a writer but hang on I'm, I'm, hang on, I'm going to take a drink here so Okay, so, irony, um, no, yeah, irony, um, so I don't think you, you can, irony is one of those things that, like I said before, there's no, like, finite definition for literature, but this is what I think of literature as, and again, I just pose this image off, off online, off Google or what? I think it was Google. Yeah, it was Google. Google Images. Um, so, this is my creation. I don't own any of the rights to any of these images. Uh, so, um, uh, so, irony. Irony is important because, well, it's ironic, I guess. It's, um, ironic, being ironic in a, in literature is important because it's George Orwell wasn't ironic in 1984 or Animal Farm. I don't think that those pieces would be as good as they are. Um, or even Robert Frost, um, didn't he do a cold winter night? Or is that, um, and that the other guy, the other New England um, author, um, or, or did I just make up the title? I forget. But anyway, I made, I made this video for the title. But in um, the world of Travel by, he uses irony when he mentions the um, fact about the the entire poem itself is ironic. Because it's, because it's basically trying to say that, that yes, yes you can take the world that everybody else has gone, but it's, it's more fun and interesting to go the world that nobody has gone before. Um, like, like me with this project, this was actually a homework assignment for my create, for my graphic novel course. Um, so yeah. Um, now on to the next one, which is allusions. Allusions are important to literature, even in art, I think. Because if, if an artist doesn't allude to, like, what he's trying to get at, there's really no point in doing it. Like, like there's really no, like, meaning behind the sculpture or painting or anything, really that he's doing, um, he, um, so, yeah, that was my what is videos, um, I hope you guys like these videos on three of my subscribers, um, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, hopefully we can get more as I start pumping out these videos more often, but, um, I haven't been able to do a video in a while because not even my gaming channel has been able to do a video in forever. I think I only have like two, maybe, I only have two tutorial videos of Minecraft on there right now. But that was because my computer had crapped out on me and I apologize for that. I'm currently in the middle of trying to get it fixed and it's, it's a long process. So hopefully um, I can get enough views to where I can, no, no, I don't, hopefully I can just get enough views where I can start, um, <laughs> where I can start, what am I looking for, where I can begin to start thinking about this as a career. But anyway, that, that's a long way away. It's only three subscribers, and I think one of my videos only have like 
52 views on it or something like that. It might be 56 now, I forget. But anyways, um, so this has been Nathan. This has been Nat. This has been Noob Nat signing off for mm, September 3rd. Um, yeah, again, if you like these, so yeah.